Hello everyone. In a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how to connect to my SQL server using Visual Studio Code and an extension called SQL Tools. In this video, I will show you how to connect to my SQL server using VS Code and another extension called my SQL Management Tool. So I suppose that you have already installed my SQL server. And for more information how to install my SQL server, you can see the video link that is available in the description. Now to install the new extension, we have just to click on this extensions button. Then here we have to type my SQL. Now let's select this first extension. So this is the name of the developer and it has been downloaded this number of times. And to install it, we have just to click on this install button. Now the extension is installed correctly. So let's close this page. We can also hide the extensions. Now let's click on this explorer button. And here we can see that we have MySQL. So we have just to click on this button to create a new connection. So here we have to provide the server address. So the MySQL server is installed on my computer. That's why the host name is localhost. Now let's press enter. And here we have to provide the username. So the default username is root. Let's press enter. And here we have to provide the password. Also we need to provide the port number. And the default port number is 3306. Now let's press enter, then let's press enter. And here we have this new connection, so we can expand it. But here we have this error. So this error means that we are using the version 8 of MySQL server. This version defines and uses a new authentication method instead of the old MySQL native password. So if the MySQL client does not use the new authentication method, it will display this error. So the solution is to create a new SQL user that uses the old authentication method. So we have just to go to the folder where my SQL is installed. So it is installed on the C drive, into program files. Then here we have to find the folder my SQL. Then we have to open this folder. Then let's open the bin folder. And here let's type cmd. Now to connect to the server, we have to type the following command. So here minus u means that we have to provide the username and the username is root. Then minus p means that we have to provide the password. Now let's press enter. And let's provide the password. Then let's press enter. Now we need to create the new user. So here I will create this new user called SQL user. So this user uses the old authentication method. And it will use this password. Now let's press enter. Now let's provide this user with all the privileges. Then let's press enter. Then we need to validate the privileges. Then let's press enter. So you can find these three commands in the description of this video. Now we can close the connection. And also we can close this window. Now we need to delete this connection. So let's make a right click. Then delete connection. Then let's create a new connection. So for the server name it is localhost. And for the user it is the new user that we have created. Now we can expand this connection. And here we can see that we have these databases. So to see the content of this database, we have just to expand it. 
And here we can see that we have these tables. Now I will show you how to create a new database. So let's open the SQL editor. We have just to make a right click, then new query. So to create a new database, we have to execute the following query. And to execute this query, we have just to make a right click, then run my SQL query. So here we can see that the query has been executed correctly. And to find the new database, we have just to refresh the connection. So let's make a right click, then refresh. And here we can see that we have this new database. Let's expand it. So we can see that it is empty. Now I will show you how to create a new table. So let's delete this query. And let's add the queries that allow us to create a new table and to fill it with some data. So this first query allows us to create a new table called users into this database. And of course we have these columns. Then we will insert two rows into this table. Now to run these two queries, we have just to make a right click, then run my SQL query. So here we can see that the queries have been executed correctly. Then let's expand the database, but we can see that it is always empty. So we need just to refresh the connection. And here we can see that in this database, we have this table. So to see the data of this table, we have just to make a right click, then select top 1000. So here we need to execute this query to see the data. So let's make a right click, then run my SQL query. And here we can see that we have these rows. 